when uh, Jeff White and I discussed what it was that I needed for the film and, and Jeff read the script and saw just how much dialogue there was going to be and, and the kind of emotional beats that these characters were going to need, there was kind of a whole new technology that they dug into to, to make the facial capture really grab every nuance of what the actor was doing. And, and when the actors finally got a chance to see that, to see how much detail was being captured, I think it was really both a relief for them and also incredibly invigorating and, 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 and exciting for them to know that they could play subtleties and everything would be captured. Duncan really understood that a, a performance works together. It's, it's body and it's the face and it's all tied together in really subtle ways that the human eye is very good at picking up on. For the show, we, we developed new technology to really provide us the, the most accurate reconstruction of the actor's performance in context of what they did on set. It's powerful magic. The island has always strived towards uh, being very filmmaker friendly and very friendly to the actors and making their whole experience very enjoyable and not getting in their way. And so we strive really hard here for the facial capture to really make sure that the, that the hardware, the technology, is kind of fades away and they're, they're allowed to, to perform and really give the best possible performance. <laughs> We had some of the largest motion capture volumes ever created. Um, some of them were 300 feet long. And we could have nine simultaneous orcs with head capture at the same time. It really allowed us to um, be able to see the performances on set and make sure that they were captured appropriately. We could shoot a scene with all of the actors and keep, keep working on it until Duncan felt like he really had the performances he wanted. Because our cameras were also tracked, we could go back and reshoot the scene just using motion capture playback. For the camera operators, you know, kind of opened their eyes like, wow, this is a really uh, neat possibility. Hal Hickel and his animation team just did an incredible job of bringing in all of this body capture and facial solve and then really bringing the orcs to life. As good as the body capture fidelity was and as good as our face capture was, and it was great, uh, there was still a lot of love that had to be put in every shot to ensure that what the actors had done was accurately translated onto the orcs. And then we had King Magni, where we had to translate the human motion onto someone much smaller and much shorter. What we needed to do on this film was take the fidelity of a traditional motion capture stage and sort of mash it together with stage shooting. We had our motion capture performer together with our live action performers. And as well, we had a real time retarget of the actor's motion onto a simplified kind of game level version of the orcs that the cameraman and everyone else could see on the monitors. So they would frame up not on Toby Kebble, but on Duratan. One orc cannot kill a world, Duratan. Warcraft was a huge production, having hundreds and hundreds of orc shots with facial performances. We had visual effects artists working all over the world. At ILM, we had our San Francisco office. Also, Vancouver and Singapore offices were working on big sequences in the film. You know, we just had such a great time fully embracing this world and the aesthetic of it. It was a really unique opportunity.